Hello everybody, this is Star Unicorn here, and welcome back to another episode on the Minecraft server. This is episode 31, and we are going to do some cool stuff today. Uh, so, last episode we created a pumpkin farm, an automatic pumpkin farm, and uh, I AFK'd right here in the middle for one night uh, since last episode. And uh, let's go see what we got. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Come on. All right, that's not too bad. Not not terrible for one night. That it could be better. Uh, I feel like it should be better. Uh, I turned up the delay a little bit because I feel like it wasn't enough. Like uh, since uh, that since last night, like I, I turned up the delay on it. But uh, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna take all those pumpkins and we're going to get started on some villager trading. Uh, because we need to get some emeralds we can get a ton of mending books a ton of silk touch books we have so many villagers like we have six villages here and we have one at home so <laughs> we have definitely enough village villages uh and enough villagers to uh get a ton of anything we need wow that was that was good skills there good skills okay uh so where are we headed exactly uh, it's not in here, unfortunately. I had to go over into the other area uh, to find a farmer that would give us the proper stuff. Uh, but at least he trades wheat, he trades pumpkins and carrots and uh, potatoes as well. And the potatoes is actually the most important part uh, because all the farms here are actually potatoes. Uh, so if he cancels his trade on the pumpkins... All we have to do is just uh, pick up some potatoes from here, and uh, he should give it to us. So this is the guy. Uh, he has a pretty bad trade as far as pumpkins go. I'm pretty sure you can get down to eight. Uh, so that's, yeah, not as good as it could be. But uh, he's the only one we have currently. So I'm going to make use of that. So uh, there's five. Okay, so there he cancels his trade. He should be able to exit out. Let his little sparkly sparkles go. Because he's clearly an alcoholic here. <laughs> uh, and then we should be able to go back in and trade again. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so like that. Like that. There we are. Up to 13 emeralds already. That's uh, 15 emeralds. That's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that should be basically all we have to do. Let's see if this guy has any other good trades. Uh, we can get cakes, guys. We can get cakes. <laughs> uh, cookies. Uh, we can't actually get cookies from anything else, I don't think. I don't think we have... Uh, the cocoa beans on the server. So that would be cool just to get some cookies, of course. <laughs> uh, maybe not, but uh, melons. Okay, okay, okay. So if we actually made a second tier to the pumpkin farm and actually made it uh, a melon farm as well, that would be pretty cool. So we could uh, get some melon trades going. Uh, we get some pumpkin pie. Turn our pumpkins into pumpkin pie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, uh, let's, let's just continue trading along here with this guy. Just boom. Man, this actually, you go up fast with emeralds. I didn't even notice that. Like, I could AFK every night and get this many emeralds. <laughs> uh, which is pretty crazy. And you get experience, too. How lovely. Okay, let's see. Any new trades? Nope, just cake. Cake's his last one, it seems. Uh, so let's just, yeah, keep going on that. All right, exit out. So I, I don't know if I can do that forever or not, if I can just exit out, or if I ever have to trade something else. But it seems like I can just keep trading him. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I can just keep trading him and exiting out. I just gained, like, 17 emeralds, so that was, like, 11, but still. Good either way. Okay, I didn't see sparkles that time. Seems like he's getting a little... Yeah, it looks like he's getting a little tired of that trade. So if we go back to potatoes and uh, hand him one potato and exit out. Maybe. Maybe. Please. <laughs> I hope that he didn't just cancel that trade altogether. What? Pumpkins? No. Okay. Uh, let's just try a bunch of potatoes. There we go. Okay, I see some sparkles now. Uh, hello? Give me... Okay, there we go. 
Yep, okay, so I guess I can just keep doing this. So I'm going to do this, and we'll see how many pumpkins, or uh, not pumpkins, how many emeralds we get. And hopefully we get a lot so we can uh, get some awesome stuff. So guys, uh, we got to the point where we have basically burnt him out of everything uh, that we have to offer. So uh, if we go here and here, look, he has no more trades for potatoes and no more trades for pumpkins, unfortunately. Uh, so it looks like we're going to have to probably go get some uh, wheat from back at the house because uh, that's the only thing that we have really in quantities that uh, he wants to trade for. Uh, we don't have any melons or anything. Like, we could give him an emerald uh, for something, but I'd rather not waste the emeralds. Uh, may as well just make more, right? So uh, may as well just go back and grab the stuff we have there, some wheat. And, uh, yeah, man, I feel like I say wheat really weirdly for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> wheat. Wheat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it might just be because I have headphones on. Uh, it just sounds weird. Okay, I there it is. Okay, yeah, so I'm probably going to go and head back to the house and uh, use our automatic uh, wheat farm and grab as much of that as possible and bring it back here. So, because this is super exciting, you know, you guys probably want to watch this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's really kind of boring. Basically, all we got to do is just plant our seeds, as you've probably seen in the previous episodes. Plant the seeds and uh, press the button, and uh, they all get grown and wash into the hoppers, just like so. And, yeah, so I'm probably going to do a little bit of a montage, maybe, maybe a montage, probably just a speed run of this. And, uh, yeah, so let's go. My gosh, we have finally ran out of bone meal in our dispensers, <laughs> or at least some of them. Uh, this thing has actually lasted so long. I've oh, that one's empty too. Wow, uh, I've only ever refilled this thing once. I actually, never refilled it. I've just filled it initially, and that was it. <laughs> uh, I guess nine stacks of bone meal takes you a long way. Uh, yeah, you can see that right there. Uh, that's still a stack and a half there. So a lot of these still have some left. I don't know why some of them ran out when others didn't. Uh, it seems like they may... Yeah, see, that one only has 10. Uh, kind of odd. I'm not really sure why that is. Maybe I just didn't have enough at the time to fill all of them equally. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but that one's empty. Yeah, so uh, I'm probably going to just go back to our giant stash of bones that we have over here. <laughs> just uh, refill those. Uh, and then continue on. So uh, I've so far grown about eight stacks of seeds. And I haven't looked at how much wheat we have, but I would assume a little bit more than eight stacks. Uh, okay, leg. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then we're going to head back over and just make an insane amount of emeralds. <laughs> so guys, remember a second ago uh, how I was just bragging about my... Uh, giant amount of bones that I have, and I was like, oh, I'm so manly, I've got giant bone stash. Yeah, well, uh, that, uh, didn't last so long. <laughs> Apparently, it takes an entire double chest of bones to fill this thing up. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it actually took an entire double chest of bones. Uh, yeah, our, we have two, we had two double chests, and it used one entire one of them. So, uh, yeah, I don't feel so, uh, 
confident about how many bones we have anymore. We're going to have to go farm, like, a ton <laughs> uh, to get those back. Uh, but, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. I'm rather depressed. Well, guys, uh, after about 20 minutes, we got uh, 15 stacks of wheat. So, uh, hopefully that will be enough to finish all this off. My internet isn't being particularly nice to me today, unfortunately. It's a little bit slower than usual, uh, but it still is bearable. At least it's not just ridiculously slow. Uh, so let's head over this way and see how many emeralds we can get. So uh, just right up here, right up here, up these stairs, and over here. Really should put an actual pathway in here with some doors and good stuff like that. You know, classy people stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is he? Is it you? It is you. Hello, sir. Would you like some wheat? Yes, you would. Okay. Yep, he making some sparkles. Okay. Uh, so let's actually just keep trading him wheat for a while. Uh, while he sparkles. And, uh, I think, yeah, I'll, I'll trade the wheat until that happens. And, uh, because right now his pumpkins are untraded, but we only have a little bit of pumpkins left. Uh, so I'm going to get as much out of him with wheat as possible, and then uh, I'll be back. So, being enticingly greedy, I, uh, I have, have to go back and grab the other 48 pumpkins that were, uh, in the other area over here. I just can't leave it. I can't leave it, guys. I have to get the maximum number of emeralds we could possibly get today. That is the only way. The maximum. <laughs> uh, but as you can see here, here's the leg that I was talking about. Uh, yeah, it, it was doing fine. There we go. Uh, but it, yeah, there's the odd leg spike, unfortunately, that uh, just kills my game, kills my vibe, my good vibe. Uh... So let's just see how many we can get out of this. Hopefully this resets him so I can finish off the wheat as well. Uh, because he has uh, cut out wheat and he has cut out potatoes as well. Uh, so hopefully it gives me this freaking block. Hopefully that will happen. Please. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is terrible. Terrible. Okay, well, uh, yeah, looks like we're going to do this off camera because I can't actually get this block. All right, here it is, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see if this refreshes him, and then we can finish our wheat. Let's go. Come on. Come on, man. Show me the stars. Show me the stars. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. I don't think he's going to. Dang it. Dang it. I was hoping that would. Oh, well. Guys, we got... Three and a th two and three quarters, two and three quarters stacks of uh, emeralds from that AFK session at uh, overnight. Uh, we also used some wheat, obviously, and some uh, potatoes, but uh, we're gonna need to do that every time. So uh, I'd say per night we can get about this much every time. Uh, so it seems almost like I'm going to have to upgrade the farm, unfortunately. Uh, just because I want to have more pumpkins than that, just, uh, over one night I want to be able to be able to get more than this, uh, you know, just because, uh, I like being rich and I am super greedy. Yep. <laughs> uh, no, but we do want to have a ton of, an ability to get a lot of name tags and things like that, uh, for our later builds, which, uh, we need emeralds to get. Uh, and I also want our main source of glowstone to be uh, these guys because I know that some of them, I think clerics trade uh, glowstone. Uh, so I want to get uh, emeralds for that. And uh, yeah, so basically a lot of our building materials are going to be from emeralds. So we're going to need a major amount of pumpkins and uh, wheat. So let's just see how much we've gotten. Okay, so 18 uh, in the last, like, probably 10, 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, so not terrible, but uh, could definitely be upgraded. Uh, but we're not going to do that this episode. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is uh, slowly eat this chicken. There we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, finish up this tunnel finally. 
Uh, not down that way, but uh, we're going to finish up to this point. Uh, and we're going to put a stopping point here. Uh, and hopefully with a cactus and all that goodness. Uh, I don't know what's been going on with the server lately, guys. There's been so many slimes, like, actually just everywhere. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a slime in this hallway before. And now that I've seen probably like 10 just in this little area right here. Uh, and these minecart rails have been missing for so long as well. So I don't really know what that what's up with that. Uh, but I'm not complaining. I mean, we get lots and lots of uh, slime balls. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty lovely. Come on, die. There we go. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is, first of all, obviously mine all this out. Uh, so a whole circle around like that. I guess we don't have to do the bottom layer with the ice, but we do have to do all up around there. And uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a pattern with acacia wood. Uh, so just acacia wood studs going like this, and then probably over four blocks, I think. Uh, something like that, four blocks, and then across the top. And uh, we're going to be doing either cobblestone slabs or stone slabs. Uh, doing a little bit of a, a dipping pattern like that, and then a dipping pattern up like that. And uh, hopefully that looks good, I'm not exactly certain. Uh, but we're also going to need to put some slabs along the ground because, uh, of course, our boat, uh, we don't want it to be able to go off the tracks and hit the studs, right? Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> that is a huge job. Uh, so I am going to get started on that. It'll probably take me a couple days, to be honest. Uh, but once I get it all mined out and uh, start building it, I will be back. And, uh, yeah, I'll do some more AFKing, of course, uh, hopefully get some more emeralds and all that goodness. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be back once I get that going. All right, guys, so I have cleaned out this cave pretty much, uh, mined all the walls and the ceiling away, uh, all the way down to the end, and, uh, except for these that I realized I'm also gonna have to get rid of, uh, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um... I also started designing the actual tunnel, uh, which is good because uh, it's going to take a lot of resources and <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what looks good before I actually start collecting them because uh, it's going to take a lot. So uh, what I think is uh, this right here, this is a sample uh, section right here. Uh, so we got acacia wood every four blocks going down and across uh, with some bricks in the, on the sides. Two torches like this, it's going to be the same on the other side, uh, and slabs on the bottom. And that will make it so that we can uh, we won't run into the sides at all uh, with the boat. Uh, we'll just uh, brush up against these, we'll be fine. And uh, yeah, so, and that should provide ample lighting uh, with these on both sides uh, to keep the tunnel nice and lit up. So yeah, um, I also, uh, while I was off of recording there, I stopped recording for a bit, uh, for a day, and, uh, I got a new person on the server, or at least, I uh, got him to play a little bit more, uh, it's one of my friends, uh, it's over-institutionalized ape, <laughs> that is his name, you can just call him ape if you wish, uh, but he set up shop over here, so let's go check that out, over in this direction, uh, just past spawn. And uh, we built a good contraption for the server. Uh, we built it together, uh, so both him and I will be able to use it. Uh, but there is an automatic wheat farm, and yeah, let's let's go check it out. So this is it right here. Um, and he also built a cool little bridge type thing here uh, that just goes across. So he's got uh, some cobblestone fences and some stone bricks and some stone slabs. And I think it actually looks pretty nice for uh, how simple it is. It just, yeah, brings this whole thing together. Uh, but yeah, so let's go head up over here and check it out. So basically, uh, this is the wheat farm. We got uh, it on a clock. So you stand here. That goes up and down. I think we have some seeds. Uh, so basically, on the bottom, you plant them, and they should all grow just like so. They won't all grow, but uh, the ones that you plant properly well. You just gotta spam click. 
Uh, it also depends if you run out. Yeah, that one's out of bone meal. Uh, so you have to make sure that they all stay stocked up on bone meal. But if they do, then uh, yeah, you should be able to get a bunch of wheat. So you just got three from that. Uh, and then this is the storage for it. Uh, so that's good. So anybody who pays to use this or him or I can just come over here, use this wheat farm. And uh, as you can see by this beautiful sign right here, it is the cow killer. <laughs> so that's the reason we have the wheat farm there is you get, uh, you get wheat and then you come up here and you're going to breed your cows. So uh, there's some right there. So you hit this button. Uh, they bounce up and down and you take your wheat and you breed them. Uh, which actually I may as well do right now just to show you guys what it does. Uh, but up, just take those and go back up to the top. And then just hold down and you should breed them all, all the ones that are able to. Uh, there's only three in there right now, I think, so we'll only be able to breed one of them. Uh, but then you just stop them from flowing up and down. And uh, right now it's not set up to kill them yet because we only have three in there. We want about like 30 or 40. Uh, but by the time we get there, there'll be a hole in the side. And uh, we'll be able to go down to the bottom here. All the baby cows will flow to the bottom because they will be uh, smaller than the big cows. So they can uh, get down to the bottom here. And uh, they'll sit here. And there's a double-edged monosable circuit. Uh, to burn all the adult cows. So it won't kill them. It'll just uh, get them down low health, and then all you got to do is just swing with your looting sword, and you'll get a bunch of cooked meat, and they will all go in here. So yeah, that's a pretty cool setup, I'd say. I do like it a lot, um, and we'll be able to get lots and lots of leather, finally. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, his uh, base, ape's base, <laughs> is uh, right over here. Uh, so all the stuff's in here and uh, over here. And then he's got his uh, little ravine. I guess not really little. He's got a ravine <laughs> uh, down here, I believe. Should be down here. Yeah, right here. He's got a big ravine right in through here. That's a witch. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> the witch just growls at you. It's so Scowly and evil. <laughs> it's like, stop. She just looks at you. It's like, Rrr, and then just throws a potion and ends your life because, you know, what a nice person. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that is all the new stuff here, guys. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be finishing the tunnel in this episode because I want to be able to get this episode out. And that is going to take a very long time to collect all that wood and all those bricks. Uh, oh, the bricks actually are going to take forever. That's going to be crazy. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so before we get, before we end the episode, let's stop dying here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I think we're going to end it here, guys. Uh, we accomplished a fair bit. Um, we got a bunch of emeralds. Uh, I'll show you guys actually the final amount of emeralds we got. I don't think I ever did. Right there. Nice. Uh, so let's head down to the bottom here. And we got them all in our ender chest, I believe. Uh, we might also have some inside of our chest room. So uh, we have, I think, yeah, I think like half a stack in our chest room, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so right here. Yep, there we go. So we got about four stacks, close to four stacks, not quite, of emeralds uh, from our pumpkin farm. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. We can start trading some awesome stuff from villagers and getting some name tags and uh, bottles of enchanting. I'll show you guys why I want those. <laughs> uh, not right now, but I will show you guys probably when we get that going. Uh, it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, but, yeah, probably some bottles of enchanting and some name tags and uh, glowstone. Lots and lots of need for emeralds, guys. But, uh, yeah, so... I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. And do all the awesome things you guys do. And I will see you in the next video.